Madam Clerk. All right. Councilman Bodier. Present. Councilman Chatelaine. Present. Councilman Hewitt. Present. Councilman Landry. Present. Councilman Murray. Present. Mayor Mosca. Present. Police Chief Walker. Here. Fire Chief St. Cyr is absent. And City Attorney Corsell. Present. Any special presentations? Anyone wish to address the council? Can do so now. Uh, hi, my name is Alan Boudreaux. I live at 15 Colonial Lane. And last month I announced that I was going to be running for the City Council of Harahan. And on Wednesday I did, in fact, qualify. <clears throat> I look forward to addressing the issues facing the City of Harahan. The citizens of Harahan deserve nothing less. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the rank and file of our police department for their hard work and diligence for having Harahan <coughs> recognized as <coughs> by a leading real estate blog for being listed as the sixth safest city in the state of Louisiana. And I quote, Harahan is so safe that the locals only one in, one in 752 chance of being a victim of a crime, which was the lowest chance on our list. I think that's an achievement. And I'd like to say that by entering this race, I would put the Boudreaux equation. Mm -hmm. Transparency plus truth equals trust. And that's the Boudreaux solution. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, Councilman, my name is Michael Maxwell. I live at 8209 Huntley Lane. And I would like to report that I have also qualified to run for City Council. And I would also like to say that in my going through the city and, and shaking hands, I've gotten a very, very positive response from the people. They're very interested in this election, and so am I. I want to wish all a, a very nice evening. Thank you very much for your time. Good evening. Mayor Mosca, Chief of Police Walker, my friend, City Attorney David Cursell. My name is Johnny Lee, and I'm running for the first parish court, Division B seat, which y'all are encompassed in that district. The tickets that are not handled by your court here go to first parish court. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I went to public schools in Jefferson Parish my whole life until Rummel High School graduated from Rummel, then went to UNO, then went to LSU Law School. Graduated from LSU Law School <laughs> in 1975, came back to Metairie, was with a little firm on Metairie Road, Molaire and Flanagan. That was some of y'all old people might remember, old like me, or I remember Jules Molaire. Well, by the time I started, he wasn't really practicing anymore, but he was still around. The man I really practiced with, who was my mentor, was James Flanagan. This was an honorable man. He was a brilliant man. He taught me to respect people, just like my daddy had taught me to respect people. And I learned that. And in all my career, you can talk to anyone I've dealt with, but I deal with people with respect and dignity. After law school, I mean, after uh, a few years with that firm, maybe it was because I watched a little too much Perry Mason but I decided I wanted to be a courtroom lawyer. So the only way to really become a courtroom lawyer is to be hired by the district attorney's office because you try cases all the time. Fortunately, Mr. Mamalitas saw fit to hire me as an assistant DA. I started in 1980 for Mr. Mamalitas. I started in, in screening. Shortly thereafter, he put me in a felony court. I tried ma major murder trials, first degree murders, rapes, uh, I had almost 100 jury trials. He also assigned me after my second year to go to traffic court, first parish court, which is the seat I'm running for. 
At that time, it was on Clearview. Maybe you all don't remember that. Now it's on David Drive and West Metairie, where it's been for a number of years. I did major felonies approximately 1990. Mr. Marmolitis asked me if I'd like to be full-time at the first parish court. I said, yeah, I'd had enough of these major felonies. So I became an assistant DA at first parish court, and I handled the daytime docket and still handled the nighttime docket. The cases we handle in the daytime docket are DWI second offense is the most serious offense, but we handle simple batteries, disturbing the pieces, drunken public, all that sort of stuff. We, I dealt with hundreds of people a day. Did that until 1996, Mr. Marmolitis retired and Paul Connick was elected. I was one of only a couple of people that Paul Connick retained in his office. Now, I stayed with Paul for about three and a half years. The reason I left was because Paul had determined when he was running that he wanted people full time. And I, even though I wasn't full time, and the reason I wasn't full time is I had five children. Now they're grown, my youngest is in law school at LSU. That gives me the opportunity to embark on what I'm trying to do and be an elected judge. Um, anyway, so I resigned from the district attorney's office. Immediately thereafter, I became the public defender. Where? At First <coughs> Parish Court. Where am I now? What docket did I handle this morning with Judge Olivier, who's from your area, and she's a fine lady and a fine judge? First Parish Court. I handled the docket this morning. I'll handle the docket Monday morning. I'll handle the docket until I'm elected. Little, and I don't want to take up, can I, uh, am I going on too long? Okay, thank you. Um, a little bit about myself. As I told you, my schooling. With the, uh, I have been a member of St. Catherine of Siena Church for a number of years, taught confirmation classes for three years there, was on the board for the school. Now I'm presently at St. Francis Xavier. Uh, I've been the president of the Jefferson Bar Association. I'm in the House of Delegates for the State Bar Association for the last 20 years. I have, uh, for the last several years, given seminars and have been, speaker, been a speaker at DWI seminars to teach other lawyers how to defend and how to prosecute DWIs, which again is the most serious offense at First Parish Court. I have been there around, I've been around there long enough to know that there are better ways to do things. And as a judge, I'm gonna change things a little bit. Last week, I met with Sheriff Newell Norman about traffic tickets. There are ways to make the system over there more effective and efficient. There are ways that we can streamline it, that the ticket will go down for you citizens, yet there'll be no loss of income. He's convinced we can do it, I'm convinced we can do it, and we can do it. Finally, I would ask you to consider just my experience, my demeanor as you'll see it through the campaign, and I ask you to consider me for the next uh, judge of First Parish Court. I appreciate y'all, thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Good evening, Mayor, Council, citizens of Harahan. My name is Craig Johnson. I want to announce that I am a candidate for City Council. Um, I will be walking the streets within the next few months, looking forward to meeting everybody. Uh, e sorry. <laughs> looking forward to meeting everybody and uh, talking about the issues that are with the city. Um, if I don't get a chance to come see you right away uh, and you would like to talk to me, please call me anytime, 259-5763. Uh, I am a resident of Harriet for the past 20 years. I live at 7021 Gasper Place with my wife and my two kids, my daughter and my stepson. Uh, and I am associated with the St. Rita Dance Club and the St. Rita Knights of Columbus. And that's it. Uh, please vote for me November 4th. Thank you. Bye. Good afternoon, Mayor, Council, Chief. My name is Pat McDaniel, 829 Roseland Parkway. I did qualify as well to run for Harahan Council November 4th. I will be walking the streets as well. Uh, please contact me at 504-616-4448. Look forward to uh, serving and uh, continue to keep Harahan safe. Thank you all.
Good evening, Mayor, Council, a viewing audience. My name is Tim Walker. I am your police chief. I was just elected in May, but that's to fill the unexpired term for this year, 2014. The election coming up in November is for the next four years, and I am Welcome. seeking re-election, and I appreciate your support. Also, on another note, uh, this past week I was challenged by Lieutenant Andrew Walsdorf at the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office on, on the ALS bucket challenge. I'm going to take it Saturday morning at 9 o'clock in front of headquarters, and I'm challenging our mayor and council who has not participated in it <laughs> so far. Uh, David writes the check real quick. <laughs> the police, the police <laughs> join me. If you've already been, if you've already been, that's fine, but if you haven't, please join me. The, uh, the senior center has challenged uh, Paul Johnson and myself, so I don't know if I'm going to do it twice. That's fine. <laughs> Come on out. Oh, Chief, why don't you be reporting one away? Thanks. Anyone else want to address the council? We'll to do it then. We'll All right, we're going to um, suspend the rules uh, and go to um, a motion to go to give these permits out so people can get out of here. Motion, motion by Murray, second by Bodier. All in favor? Yay. Yay. Any opposed? Five days, no days. Let's go with uh, Knights of Columbus first. <coughs> Mr. Mayor, members of the council, I'm going to rotate the podium so I can address you. Thank you all for being here. Uh, I'd like to announce that I'm not running for office. <laughs> uh, my name is Steve Coral. I'm at 566 Gordon Avenue. Uh, I'm here to represent the St. Rita Knights of Columbus tonight. Uh, the Knights of Columbus, for those of you that may not be aware, are, is a philanthropic organization. Uh, we do a lot of things for our community, for our parish, for our church. Uh, one of the things we're most known for is our, our funding and running of the Harahan Food Pantry, which uh, provides uh, food and groceries for the citizens of zip code 70123. But like all philanthropic organizations, uh, we need funds. We need money to, to do the things we, we're, we're, our mission is to do. So therefore, we're requesting the, the council to give us approval to have a mini Oktoberfest on the grounds of our hall. Now, for those of you that don't know where our hall is, it's uh, on Columbus Avenue, which is between Oak Street and Hickory. Everybody knows where the rickshaw is. It's behind the rickshaw. <laughs> so anyhow. <laughs> We'd like to have a mini Oktoberfest, October 11th, from 12 noon to 9 o'clock. Uh, we've, uh, we've, we've contacted the, 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 the Deutsch House, and they are willing to support us in providing food uh, and, and, and beverage. So we're going to have uh, real, genuine German food and, and drink there. Um, we're going to, uh, we, we, we're asking uh, you guys to help us uh, close off Columbus Avenue, which is a small street between Hickory and Oak, um, just from our property line to our property line. The rest of it will be held on our, our grounds. Anyhow, um, I think I covered all the, the, the times and all that stuff. I'd just like to uh, you know, ask the council that they consider our request. We invite all citizens of Harahan to come out and have a genuine Oktoberfest uh, function right here in Harahan. The, the, the cost are gonna, is going to be minimal. And for those of you guys who are in office and want to get out and meet your constituents, it will be a great venue for that. So, and we, yes, we will have beer and wine if the city so <laughs> deems. Steve, kosher? you going to say something about the car show? Uh, I'm a, I don't know much about the car show, so I'm going to invite uh, one of these guys that go to the same haberdashery as me, uh, <laughs> any, the color, uh, to come up and speak right, about let's that. Let's uh, vote on the nights yeah. first. Uh, motion. Motion by second. Mer. I'm sorry. Motion by Landry. Second. Okay. All in favor? Yeah. 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 Opposed? Five days, no days. Thank you. Next. <clears throat> Tough act to that follow. Funny. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, Council administration and citizens. My name is Tommy Flick. I live at 32 Dosher Drive in Harahan. I'm also representing the St. Rita Knights of Columbus. Uh, I'd just like to announce and, and uh, let everybody know that our sixth annual, it's hard to believe it's six years, our sixth annual car show is coming up on Saturday the 30th of August. Uh, it's going to be held at the St. Rita School Grounds 
It's going to be from 6 p.m. till 9 p.m. Uh, we expect to have a good crowd yet again, some good food, and a lot of nice cars to look at. So I'd like to invite everyone to, uh, to come by and see us. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. What was the date again? The date is the 30th, August 30. Do you have a contact number? Pardon me? Do you have a contact number or something? Uh, I already have a phone number. Okay. Right. Anyone here for the Night Out Against Crime in St. Rita? Chief? How about the wedding reception on McHugh? All right, go back to the regular agenda. The, the Night Out Against Crime is going to be the police department. Yeah. All right, we'll do that later or what? Pardon? We'll do it later. Uh, Madam Clerk, approval of minutes. Reading motion of by Landry, second by uh, Bode to dispense with the reading of the minutes for the council meeting of July 17th. All in favor? Yeah. 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 Any yeah. opposed? Five days, no nays. Motion by Murray, second by Hewitt to approve those minutes. All in favor? Yeah. 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 Any opposed? Five days, no nays. Communications, Madam Clerk. The Board of Appeals and Adjustments did not meet in July, and the Planning and Zoning Board didn't meet in August. All right, Madam Clerk, resolutions. The following resolution was offered unanimously by the council. Yes. Yes. A resolution naming the new scoreboard on Wilcox Field at Soniad Playground, Freddie Wilcox Scoreboard, in honor of the former mayor of the city of Harahan, Mr. Freddie Wilcox. Whereas Jefferson Parish Councilman Paul Johnson, District 2, granted the City of Harahan the funds to purchase a new scoreboard for Wilcox Field at Sony at Playground. Whereas the City of Harahan would like to name this scoreboard Freddie Wilcox Scoreboard in honor of the late Freddie Wilcox. Now therefore be it resolved by the Harahan City Council acting as governing authority of said city that Section 1, the new scoreboard for Wilcox Field at Sony at Playground in the City of Harahan will be named Freddie Wilcox Scoreboard. The foregoing resolution having been submitted to a vote, the vote thereon was as follows. Any discussion? All in favor? Yeah, Yay. Yay. Any opposed? <coughs> Five days. Um, that other resolution. The other, the, uh, next resolution. Ordinance of approval. But wasn't there a resolution? Do you want to do the one with. Um, what? The, 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 the memorandum of agreement with the cities? Or no? no, that's, that's a ordinance. Down, I believe. It's a no. resolution. It's not a resolution. No, it's an ordinance. It's it preferred. says resolution. It's a resolution. Ratifying the memorandum agreement? Here, no, Mayor. it's an ordinance. I have, I have an ordinance to adopting development agreement. Mayor. No, this is a different one. Oh, okay. Oh, that's an add on, right? Yes, I'm sir. sorry. <laughs> A uh, motion to suspend the rules to add on a memorandum of uh, agreement with the other uh, uh, cities for the um, emergency program. management agency. Motion by Murray, second by Hewitt. All in favor? Yay. Yay. Any Yay. opposed? Yay. Madam Clerk, why don't you do that one? Okay. Okay. Unanimous? Um, yes. Yeah, it was unanimous. Yes. The following resolution was offered unanimously by the council. A resolution ratifying a memorandum of agreement between the Parish of Jefferson, City of Gretna, Town of Grand Isle, City of Harahan, Town of Jean Lafitte, City of Kenner, and City of West Wego relative to establishing a commitment in the development of the Jefferson Parish Multi-Jurisdictional Hazard Mitigation Plan Update 2015 Parish-wide. Whereas in March of 2014, the Federal Emergency Management Agency notified Jefferson Parish that the current Jefferson Parish Hazard Mitigation Plan will expire in March of 2015. Whereas a current hazard mitigation plan is needed to receive funding from FEMA for hazard mitigation projects. Whereas in July of 2014, GOSEP provided Jefferson Parish with funding to assist in the development of the Jefferson Parish Hazard Mitigation Plan update whereas Jefferson Parish seeks to complete a multi-jurisdictional hazard mitigation plan to include all municipalities within, the, within Jefferson Parish, and whereas it is, in best, it is in the best interest of all parties and the citizens of Jefferson Parish to provide commitment and cooperation in the development of this multi-jurisdictional hazard mitigation plan update. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Harahan City Council, acting as governing authority of said city, that Section 1, the Harahan City Council does hereby commit to the efforts that will result in a memorandum of agreement between the Parish of Jefferson, City of Gretna, Town of Grand Isle, City of Harahan, Town of Jean Lafitte, City of Kenner, and City of West Wego relative to establishing a commitment in the development 
of the Jefferson Parish Multi-Jurisdictional Hazard Mitigation Plan Update 2015. Section 2, there shall be no cause for the City of Harahan pursuant to this agreement. Section 3, the Mayor of the City of Harahan and in his absence, the Mayor pro tempore, be and is authorized to execute any and all documents necessary to give full force and effect to this resolution. The foregoing resolution having been submitted to a vote, the vote thereon was as follows. All in favor? Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Any opposed? Five days on this. Ordinances. The following ordinance was proposed. Let's see where we. I'm at the wrong section. Was proposed unanimously by the council. Well, well, I don't know if it's unanimous right now, but who wants to propose it? It was. Right, uh, Murray. This is Something the one that's Murray. up for adoption, right? Yeah. I thought it was unanimous. It was already unanimous. Okay. Uh, the following ordinance was offered unanimously by the council. An ordinance levying a tax of 14.04 mills on each dollar of assessed valuation on all taxable properties in the city of Harahan for the year 2014 and authorizing the tax collector to collect the said taxes on all the taxable property within the incorporated limits of the city of Harahan and to other otherwise provide with respect thereto. Section 1, be it ordained by the Council of the City of Harahan, Parish of Jefferson, State of Louisiana, in a public meeting held on August 21, 2014, which meeting was conducted in accordance with the open meetings law and the additional requirements of Article 7, Section 23C of the Louisiana Constitution and RS 47-1705B, that there is hereby levied a tax of 14.04 mills on each dollar of assessed valuation on all taxable property in the City of Harahan for the year 2014. Section 2, be it further ordained by the Council of the City of Harahan, acting as the governing authority of said city, in the sewage district number 1 of the City of Harahan, State of Louisiana, that the following ad valorem tax be hereby levied on all taxable property in the City of Harahan, State of Louisiana. 2014 levy, 14.04 is a total tax. Section 3, be it further ordained by the Council of the City of Harahan, that the tax collector of the City of Harahan is hereby authorized to extend said taxes on all the assessment rolls of the City of Harahan for the year 2014, and she is further authorized to collect said tax on all property within the incorporated limits of the City of Harahan. Section 4, be it further ordained by the Council of the City of Harahan that when any taxpayer fails to pay the tax or any portion thereof, on or before the day when it is required to be paid, interest at the rate of 1% per month shall be added to the amount of the tax due, and such interest shall be computed from January 1, 2015 until the tax is paid. The interest provided for herein shall be an obliga obligation to be collected and accounted for in the same manner as if it were part of the tax due and can be enforced in a separate action or in the same action for collection of the tax. Section 5, the severability and repeal clause, as referenced in ordinance number 1566, is incorporated into this ordinance. This ordinance having been considered section by section and as a whole, a vote was taken and the vote was as follows. A motion by Murray, second by Bode to open up for a public hearing. All in favor? Yay. Any opposed? Five yeas, no nays. Anyone wishing to address the council in connection with this ordinance, please step forward. Motion by uh, Bode, second by Murray to close the public hearing. All in favor? Yeah. Yeah. Any opposed? Five yeas, no nays. Um, Councilman Hewitt? Yeah. Councilman Murray? No discussion. Councilman Bode? No discussion. Councilman Shanley? No discussion. Councilman Landry? No discussion. All in favor? Yay. Yay. Any opposed? Five yeas, no nays. Madam Clerk? The following ordinance was offered unanimously by the council. An ordinance to roll the millage rate forward, but not in excess of the prior year's maximum rates on all taxable property in the city of Harahan for the year 2014 and authorizing the tax collector to collect said taxes on all taxable property within the incorporated limits of the city of Harahan and to otherwise provide with respect thereto. Section one, be it ordained by the council of the city of Harahan Parish of Jefferson, State of Louisiana, in a public meeting held on August 21st, 2014, and conducted in accordance with the open meeting law and the additional requirements of Article 7, Section 23C of the Louisiana Constitution and RS 47-1705B, the Council of the City of Harahan voted to roll forward the millage rates on all taxable property shown on the official assessment roll 
for the year 2014, and when collected, the revenues from said taxes shall be used only for the specific purposes for which said taxes have been levied. Said rates are as follows. The adjusted rate is 1387 and the 2014 levy is 14.04. Be it further ordained that the assessor of the parish of Jefferson shall extend upon the assessment roll for the year 2014 and the taxes herein levied. Be it further ordained by the council of the city of Harahan that the tax collector of the city of Harahan is hereby authorized to extend said tax on the assessment rolls of the city of Harahan for the year 2014 and she is further authorized to collect said taxes on all property within the incorporated limits of the city of Harahan. Be it further ordained by the council of the city of Harahan that when any taxpayer fails to pay the tax or any portion thereof on or before the day it is required to be paid, interest at the rate of 1% per month shall be added to the amount of the tax due, and such interest shall be computed from January 1, 2015 until the tax is paid. The interest provided for herein shall be an obligation to be collected and accounted for in the same manner as if it were part of the tax due and can be enforced in a separate action or in the same action for collection of the tax. The severability and repeal clause as referenced in ordinance number 1566 is incorporated into this ordinance. This ordinance having been considered section by section and as a whole, a vote was taken and the vote was as follows. All right, uh, motion by Hewitt, second by uh, Murray for a public hearing, all in favor? Yay. Any opposed, five yeas, no nays. Anyone wishing to address the council in connection with this ordinance, please do so now. Motion by Landry, second by Shanley to close the public hearing. All in favor? Yeah, Any yeah. opposed? Five yeas, no nays. I've asked um, um, he, uh, Councilman Hewitt. Any discussion? Discussion. No discussion. Murray? No discussion. Bodie? No discussion. Shanley? No discussion. Landry? No discussion. Uh, I was requested by one of the Councilmen for a roll call vote on this. Councilman Landry? Oh, I'm excuse We're me. We're unanimous. Roll? A roll call vote? It's well, unanimous. Oh, unanimous. I'm sorry. It was unanimous. Okay. Oh. All in unanimous? favor? It's nay. Any nay. opposed? Nay. Well, it can't be unanimous then. Okay. All right. So we got a roll call vote. <laughs> Councilman I think that's what you were starting with. I vote yes. <laughs> Councilman Shadline? Yes. Councilman Bodier? Nay. Councilman Murray? Yes. Councilman uh, Hewitt? Nay. Three yeas, no, uh, two. Three yeas, two nays, the ordinance passes. I was wondering, Mayor, we've never done a vote like that. Why would we do this now? I was requested by one of the council. Okay. Not that I'm on. I just was wondering why the change in the um, procedure. But at any time, a council can request roll call. Okay. Um, Madam Clerk? Ordinance is for introduction. Let's see. The, Who's introducing this? The filing ordinance was proposed by Councilman. This is for Colonial Agreement. What Councilman would like to? For the development agreement? For the development agreement. Oh, you can put my name on it. I'm fine. Hewitt? Yeah, I'll do it. Landry. Okay. Put Landry or Hewitt? Landry. 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 An ordinance adopting a development agreement between JW Colonial and the city of Harrahan, Louisiana. All right. May I just have one question about that? Have we ever attached the map to this ordinance yet? I'm sorry? Did we attach the map to the ordinance? Yeah, there's a map attached to it. Um, anyone uh, before the vote uh, next month that wants to amend this, please contact the administration with your amendments so we can disperse them to all the um, council people before the meeting. Everyone all right with that? Say that again. Anyone that wants to amend this development agreement, turn it in in writing to the administration as soon as you can so we can disperse it amongst all the council people. All right, old business. Um, Mr. Valvaso, I'm going to take the podium. Now. Can you give a... Uh, a uh, Jennifer old business, man? A, a, a short report on the no, progress um, in connection with uh, what we're trying to, to do with the uh, colonial do property. Need, do we need to vote to add this to the agenda? There's nothing under old business. What? Do we need to make a vote to add this to the agenda? There's we nothing just did under first reading. No, I mean under old business. Yeah, you just <clears> said old business. <throat> yeah. There's nothing under. Uh, yes, you do need to amend the agenda since there's nothing underneath it. All right, motion by Landry, second by Bode to amend the agenda for old business. All in favor? Yeah. Any yeah. yeah. opposed? Five days, no days. Mr. Valvesso? 
Okay. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, two, two, two parts to this. Uh, first, I'll uh, give you a progress report on the actual development agreement itself. And uh, as the mayor said, uh, please continue to give comments uh, and, and any input. And that has been the rule, I think, for the last three or four months at this point. Anytime we heard anything at a council meeting or even uh, information that was transmitted to us, we put it into the development agreement. Uh, where it stands today, uh, we have put everything in there that we've heard. I know there's some unanswered questions, and I think those will be answered when we uh, take it up, when you take it up officially. Uh, so, uh, so that's where the development agreement itself stands. Now, with respect to other aspects, we have continued to do research uh, on how we can find creative ways to, uh, how, we, how will we say this, uh, preserve the open space, to find some mechanism to, uh, to keep uh, the open space that has been talked about in the development agreement uh, public. Uh, and. Uh, I know the developers have reached out to several public entities uh, to see if there are monies out there or uh, federal government or state government or parish government that might want to create a public park. But we have used our resources as planners to reach out to some other types of uh, uh, entities uh, and those being uh, land conservation organizations that might take over the land under some creative type of uh, tax agreements or land swaps. Uh, we've met with the Trust for Public Land. We've met for the land, with the Land Trust for Louisiana. We've also reached out to... Uh, you say we, Mr. Villalasso, uh, yourself, the mayor? Myself. Uh, uh, it's really, really our firm has done that. Uh, we've, we had a meeting with uh, Jeff Charlet with one group, uh, and the mayor did come in on that meeting, and, they, and that group just wanted to meet with the city. Uh, and so th this, is, this is our efforts that we've been... Uh, spearheading okay uh, and then the other thing we've done is uh, we've reached out to uh, David Wagner and uh, David Wagner's group regarding uh, the the regional water management plan to see if there's some creative approach to uh, stormwater management and water management and possibly some creative projects that might be used uh, to to uh, apply to this piece of property uh, and uh, we've also uh, made uh, uh, calls to the Greater New Orleans Foundation, even the Baton Rouge Area Foundation, and some other national uh, groups like the Rockefeller Foundation. And we're going to continue to do that, uh, working with the developer and uh, on behalf of the city to see if, if we can find some creative approach to this. Uh, and so that, that's the two avenues that uh, we've been going down for the last several months. Now, it is a fact, is it not, that the Land Trust of Louisiana has expressed some interest in taking over a project regarding Colonial? They, they have expressed interest uh, because of the, uh, the, the type of project we have, the amount of land involved, and I think uh, everyone agrees the possibility of, putting, of applying some creative uh, uh, techniques uh, to, to A, keep the land open, but to use the land as an asset for the city. And it is a fact, is it not, that preliminarily with no commitment, but preliminarily, you and I, the city has been working on preserving 44 acres of green space and 20 acres for some type of water pond, right? 44? Well, 44. And uh, 20 to I'm 60. I'm going to say yes up until your math, because last yeah, month we had this math discussion All right. also. And if you put the word approximately, well, I mean or, approximately. Okay, right. I feel but much I, I better. But I want the people to understand because no I want one the knows the exact to understand acres. that this administration. That's why they put plus or minus. That's right. This Thank administration you. is one hundred percent dedicated to try and preserve as much green space on Colonial as possible, with a group within the state that has met with us and their. Initial criteria is they need about 20 acres for some kind of water. What do you call it? The runoff, you mean, for the well, construction project? The, the, the groups that we're talking to, and Land Trust for Louisiana is, is the one you're, you're referring to right now, but Trust for Public Land, 
they are willing to preserve any kind of open space. Right. But what we have done is we've said, you know, because of the unique aspects of this land, its position in the city, that we think a creative stormwater management plan might be the driver right. that, that we use. And right. so your numbers of 44 and 20 are reasonable numbers, but no one has done engineering Correct. studies to determine those numbers. Correct. But in connection with this, we're being persistent. Uh, I'm meeting tomorrow with the land trust again and with parish president John Young because there's got to be a coordination with our parish and this group and maybe some federal uh, possibilities through Valavasa and Associates. They're working to get the federal government involved in this. So we are diligently dilig 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 trying to preserve your green space as well as the quality of life which ex exists there. Uh, we're putting forth our best foot forward and I mean, I have some optimism in this. I think Mr. Valvaso has some optimism regarding this. We do. Uh, this We're is the real deal. It's not um, a fly-by-night group. This group, one of the groups we're talking to, it would be their first project in the state. And they just got here recently. We talked to them two years ago. Not this group. The land trust, we talked to them two years ago. Not this group. We talk, we talk for group? trust for public land. That's trust for public land. Different this, from land. This right. is different there, from This the is land a group that just landed okay. here. They okay. just this landed in the state. Uh, and they're both very, very land important in this field. Land. But the one the mayor is referring to is relatively They just land. landed in the state. They're looking for a project. And we're trying to key in that project should be the Colonial Country Club project, the green space. Now, the person that's here, who's the development director, is one of 1,700 people throughout the United States that work uh, with money from the Gates Foundation and all these money foundations they submit for. Uh, and, and we're all enthused because this would be the first Louisiana project, right? A uh, major project. Major. They've done some very, they've done like one lot here and one lot there, right. literally. And, yeah. and, and but the name is Land Trust Louisiana. So yes, this it is, is. The so first project in Louisiana. So they brand the first new. major one. Okay. They've they've done single lots as demonstration projects around the state. But this person, the director's of development's responsibility is to accomplish a major project. That's their job. Our job is to get them to do it here in Colonial, and in connection with that, we're trying to get them. They're looking for office space to put their whole uh, administration, and we're trying to get them to put it in the clubhouse. But we need to talk to Mr. Georges about that and Mr. Ducote and try to accomplish that. Anything else? That's all we have. Thank you. All right, thank you. And once again, that's Land Trust Louisiana. For Louisiana. Yeah. I'll give For you the Louisiana. I'll, I'll give, just Google I'll them give you the contact information. Okay. Sorry. So it is different from the one we spoke with yes. several yeah, years ago. Yeah. Um, and I must correct you because we did have that um, discussion last month about um, uh, the uh, numbers on this. Yes. Once again, you have not done everything I asked because I asked for 18 months in Section 5. Uh, instead of 12 months, and I did still want to make sure that we encompass all of our land that's in that because it's development for the entire land because it's two separate lots of um, record. And that the remaining acreage that you're talking about minus the 15 acres does not add up to 40. Um, you're missing approximately another 40. So. Once again, I want to go on record that this is not adding up to the proper amount again um, for it. And I asked for 18 months uh, following approval of the lot, commercial zoning, that when we do this thing, not a 12 month, but an 18. And of course, um, couple please of uh, put that in writing so we can submit it to the council members. Well, it's in writing. It's no, in please submit it. 
It's in, in writing. writing. It's as an in amendment. Record. I will, but it's, I'll be glad to do Unless it's that. in writing, it's not going to be considered as an it's amendment. It's in our record. This is an official record. If you want it as an amendment, all councilmen, is email please considered put writing? it in writing. Is email considered writing? Sure. Okay. Very good. But I want to make sure that it is in our, um, in our record, our official record, our official journal, that I've asked for it not once but twice, and it's still not in there. What exactly are you asking for? Oh, I'm sorry, Ray. You want to put it in writing? Would okay. You, okay. He wants me to put it in writing, and my word here on the council obviously is not good enough. No, it's just we all need to read yeah. it to see what it says. <laughs> it's going to be an amendment, and it's, 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 it's not going to be in the document. It's going to be an amendment to the document that's got to be voted on. Well, we're, we're, it's a draft. It's not an amendment. It's a draft. It's an amendment as of today. It's an amendment. May I ask, the, may, may I ask the city attorney one question? Yeah. Hey, David, um, have we got the ordinance thing worked out? This is the proper way to do it. I know there were some questions you know, about it, that. It, and that's why it's being first read tonight. Okay. <clears throat> Let me ask something too. Since this is, has some substantive, substantive changes in it, shouldn't it go back to um, planning and zoning? We discussed oh, that I, last I, week. I really, I don't want it to go back. Again. It, it has some substantive changes in it. Not the development been, agreement. What is this? Third, fourth? Because month? it's changed. I mean, I'll look at it more, but I don't think so. I mean, I think it's coming. It's gone through that, and now it's coming to you guys, and y'all going to make it. Please, decisions. please note my displeasure. Record the displeasure. <laughs> <laughs> put it in writing. Record the displeasure. Let me put it in writing. Let me put send, a big let me send it face. in writing there. Understand this. Whatever you put up now will be an amendment to this that will be voted on. We the but still in draft if form. the amendment just, doesn't pass, it's not amendment. going in the agreement. Yeah, it's going to come before you guys, and if you want to change something from it, you can. Well, just like but you, we need, all, you need but a two-thirds It's still budget. draft form. But that's what we always do. I yeah, mean, if yeah. something comes through first reading and then we discuss we it at the next it. council before voting, we, we've amended we've, it here on the floor. Right. Yeah, but exactly. now it's going to come up as an amendment at the next meeting to be it voted on. It doesn't have to. And that's how we're going to do as it. As, public, as far as public's perception, we, this has been wide open and going on for a long time. Nine, nine months. Yeah. Nine months. Okay. Madam Clerk, any other old business? Excuse me, Mayor, do you mind? I, I, the land trust, this is before we got on this subject, land trust Louisiana, the folks you're meeting with, can you set up or can Nicole help set up meetings with two councilmen and so we can at least meet them? Sure. And understand what they're doing and yeah, their projects and right. get just, a little bit um, more detail to the plan? I just emailed y'all a link to, to that website. Okay. Thank you. Um, Madam Clerk, new no business. more old business, new business. <coughs> do we do the net out of um, its crime? That's what we're doing. Uh, requesting permission to block Berg Street on Tuesday, October 14, 2014, from 5 p.m. until 9 p.m. for the annual night out against crime at St. Rita. Who, who would vote against that? All in favor? Yeah. Yay. Any Yay. opposed? Five days, no days. Next is the wedding request. Yeah, requesting permission to have a wedding reception at 165 McHugh Street on January 2nd from... 7 p.m. until 10 p.m. There are 100 guests invited. Music will be provided by a DJ, and there will also be a police officer at the reception. Motion. Is somebody Motion here to represent? The, All in favor? Is somebody here to represent the party? Mm -mm. They wrote a letter. It's not till January, though. I mean, that. Yeah. Okay. They want to get it all ready <laughs> for the wedding, you know. And they're gonna have a police there, and they get parking. They have to comply. I read the letter. With the letter yeah. All in favor? Yeah. Yeah. Any opposed? Five days, no nays? I gave him the noise ordinance. Uh, Madam Clerk, stuff. next. The fire millage. The uh, fire millage expires when? December 31st, 2014. So okay. in order to renew that, uh, we have to put it on the ballot again, right? It has to be November yes. or March at the latest. If, it, if it's going to get renewed, yeah. Hmm? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, so does, does anyone uh, resist doing it in March? I mean, what's the procedure? Um, it has to go, you know, they have advertisements right. and just a council meetings, and, you know, it takes a couple months to get this thing on a ballot. Okay, so, um, so do we need to make an approval? And I'll be working with Hugh Martin, and uh, I'll call him tomorrow after whatever y'all decide, okay. whenever y'all want to get it on and a ballot. And then he'll prepare it, everything, and right? And he'll get yeah. prepare preparing everything. everything. So it would be a special election? No. No. No, no. No. It would be when? 
um, either the fall election or the spring election is the spring, know, spring election okay. in March. Is Sorry, I, I was I missed right. it. So we do it in in the spring election. Not in yeah, what's on it? It goes on to we don't get it to the on the roll until the 16, 2016. We can uh, excuse me. No, it we'll be able to collect it next year. But spring is the latest. Um, we'll be able to collect it this year, and if we don't renew it by spring at the latest, you know, then we wouldn't be able to collect it next year. Yeah. And that's five, five mills. Five mills. Yeah, it's huge. That's right. huge. Renewal. 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 Fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If we don't get the renewal, because it is a renewal, it's not a, um, it's not a, a new, new tax yeah. of any sort. It's strictly a renewal. So and this God is the knows first they step, need Nicole? it because this is the first step we're doing tonight. Is their, the first their equipment this is, the first step. is um, sorely when you want it. That's old. That's No, I, I, it's almost a million dollars. Do we know what's on the ballot in the spring and fall? Do we know? I, the police, I mean, the fire chief isn't here, but I, I do know of, you know, the fact that our um, equipment that we have back there is getting older. We are having some more uh, problems with our equipment, and um, we have I less just with, you know, usually if you have a larger ballot with more on it, you right. get more participation with the yeah, votes. Yeah, right, exactly. So that'd be a but try advantage. it's something that needs to be done, because if, if not, then fall, our mills go down to... Minus five, so it'd be money. eight mils. We don't have enough time to advertise it. And there'd be no way that we could sustain a fire department <coughs> with it. <coughs> he said we do. If so y'all wanted to do it in November, you could. So is there a motion to do it in March? Motion. Motion by Murray, Please. second by Hewitt. All in favor? Yay. 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 Any opposed? We don't, What's need, a motion? We don't need a motion. To, to begin the procedure? Okay. For March. In March. To begin the procedure for March for uh, fire mills to be on the ballot. Okay. Let me put that in writing. No, you don't need that in writing. And that fire millage, we've been having that for ten years. Ten? Ten years. So it was ten years, and it's just expired. Yeah, this is the last year that. Which is basically it, half the fire yeah. department's budget. It, it yes. won overwhelmingly the first time it right. went through. They did a great job with it. Yeah. Hope there'll be that participation this time. Okay. Maybe on. All right, Madam Clerk, where are we? Um, new business ABOs. number four, yeah. High content ABO application for Doc Quick Stop, LLC, located at 1927 Hickory Avenue. That's all right, Chief. Mm -hmm. Motion by... Mayor. Okay. Yes. I want to say that this is probably one of the most complete applications we've had. That We have two of them and... Four. Um, two, I have... I have two right here. The, yeah, the other ones are buried. Too late. Man. Two, two lates and uh, the two that we're in. And thank you very much for that, um, Chief. Thank you. All in favor? Yay, yay. Any opposed? Five days, no names. Next is China is, uh, Palace. Uh, yeah, high content ABO application for China Palace LLC located at 1915 Hickory Avenue. All in favor? Yay. yay. Any opposed? Five days, no names. Do we have two add-ons or what? We do. We have two add-ons. What are those? They are. Does everybody have the add-ons? Yeah. Yes, I we have them right here. Yes. Okay. So we them to us uh, and they're all right too, right, Chief? This one's a high content. Chief, they're all right. I have a question on one of them. High right. content uh, ABO application for New Orleans Baskets of Blessings LLC, located at 7121 Jefferson Highway. Ba of Blessings. Uh, baskets of of blessings, New Orleans baskets. And they needed an ABO license. Yep. Oh, high wine content. The wine in the basket. Wine in the basket. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Which one are okay. we on? We're on the number four. New Orleans baskets. Any questions oh, on that? No. Mm -mm. Nope. All in favor? Let's suspend Yay. the rules. Motion to suspend the rule by Murray and second by Bode. All in favor? Yay. 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 Any opposed? Five yeas, no nays. Uh, then the vote, all in favor? Yay. Yay. Any opposed? Five yeas, no nays. The last one, a motion by uh, Murray, second by Hewitt to put it on the agenda. To suspend the rule. All in favor? Yay. 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 Any opposed? Five yeas, no nays. What's that oh, one, Hold up. East way. Hold up. I have a question on that. We vote? All right. Um, I don't know. It has a nose on this thing right here, and I don't know if we need to check with the Secretary of State if it's the managing partner or not. But uh, I asked him, he said we should maybe get a recommendation from the city attorney. Um, 
Are you a right U.S. citizen? No. Are you a citizen of Louisiana? But in the top, you read the application for license must meet the following qualifications. Where, where, where do you see yours? Right here. It's the second. So, yeah, I'm just seeing this. Tonight. This guy is a one of and he is a citizen of the United States. Now, this next guy, his name's on here as a member, but he, you know, in the, in the micro down, Nicole. Title Nicole, it's in the microphone there so they can hear. Uh, the first guy, the actual applicant, is a citizen of the United States, but one of the members. Um, they're also required to, you know, fill out application all day. They are not a citizen of the United States, so I don't know. I, ha I have this that's... here too. So who is applying? I mean, it's managing it partner. partner. You know, I don't. It's a I don't partner. Know. Yeah, let me look. I just want to clear it up. I'm not sure. It's a good catch. It's a managing member or not? I don't know. I don't have all. You see that? Part of yeah, it says city. the requirements as to citizenship and residence do not apply to officers, directors, and stockholders. I don't know what he is. He's a member. He's a member, probably, if it's an LLC. So, it's so he's a member of the LLC. Member, I mean, yeah. that's, I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's why I'm asking you. <laughs> partnership. It's a partnership. I've never had one come through us with these notes. Yeah, we haven't. <laughs> we have not. It's like whack on that. I don't know, man. I can look at it because it's can we, there's a lot on it, but one of them is you have to be a citizen if you're an applicant. The, the actual part. applicant is. Well, they do a too. Well, we, got them that, we have them both. Well, we, we have two options. One is for the first, <laughs> the other is to uh, do, um, we've done it once before, we uh, uh, temp temporarily approve it pending whatever it is. I'd go for deferral. I'd mean, vote, vote for a deferral. I would be inclined, I would be inclined to go along with a deferral, too. Me too. I agree. All right, agree. motion by uh, Chatelaine, second by Landry to defer this. All right, I'll take it and look at it. Better to be safe. Is anybody here uh, from no. Fastway Field Mart? No. All motion right, Madam Clerk. No. Uh, vote deferral. on a deferral. Vote. Vote. All in favor? Yeah. 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 Opposed? Yeah. Five yeah. days, no days. Next, Madam Clerk, we have addressed the council. Anybody wishing to address the council can do so now. Great. Um, Honorable Mayor, members of the council, Chief Walker and um, City Attorney David Corsell, and most importantly, citizens of Harahan. Uh, my name is Monique LaFontaine. I am a candidate for judge in First Parish Court, which sits on David Drive. I'm running for Division B. That position is currently held by Judge George Jacoby, who announced several weeks ago that he will retire to spend time with his um, children and grandchildren. Um, I just wanted to come tonight to introduce myself. This is my first election, and so I'm, I'm meeting everyone for the first time. And if I meet you twice, forgive me if I have to ask you your name the same number of times. A little bit about my background. Um, I've always considered Jefferson Parish my home. My um, parents were born and raised here, in fact, just down the, the road in, in River Ridge, to um, parents who grew up here most of their life. They, they were born in Mississippi. Um, so River Ridge has always been my home. That's always where I've returned. The first house I bought was actually in, um, on Roseland Parkway, um, 500 block after law school. And my great grandmother actually lived on that part of Roseland Parkway that, that subdivides, subdivides and goes two ways. So I've spent a lot of time in this community. Um, I now reside in Metairie with my husband, Paul. We've been married for three years. I, um, I have practiced litigation in the state of Louisiana, primarily in the metropolitan area, for the past 18 years. I graduated from Loyola in 1996. Um, in addition to practicing in state and federal courts throughout Louisiana, I've also practiced nationally for some clients, but I, I won't bore you with 
those um, details. I, I, I would like to add, and I don't know that it matters to this crowd, but it does to some. I, my practice has been civil litigation. I've not represent, I've not been a criminal defense lawyer. Uh, but I, I think that the most important thing for me to convey to everyone, because this comes from my heart, is that the reason why I'm doing this. After practicing for 18 years in, in private practice, I reached the point in my career where I always knew I would, where it was time for me to give back to the profession that's been very good to me, and also to, um, to the community. And I think that I believe that this position affords me both opportunities. It, it is um, a court that I believe, I can't quote you statistics right now, that um, has the most contact with people. You know, the, the 24th, the Fifth Circuit, the Supreme Court, the things that get to that lever, level are, um, they're not going to see as many people come before them. But, you know, with First Parish Court handling misdemeanors, civil claims up to $20,000, lease disputes and such, and also traffic courts and DUIs, you're going to get a, a large, you know, number of people. So um, I think it's a perfect fit for me. I, um, I do have some, some brochures, some volunteer cards. Um, if you'd like to read them, but really what I would do is I would point, I'd prefer to point out that on the back is my uh, personal email address that I myself read and answer, and also my personal cell phone number that I have with me, you know, in, in my purse right now if you wanted to test it when we went outside. Um, I'll be outside for a few moments after the meeting ends, and if you have any questions, um, please let me know or call me or email me and otherwise one day I look forward to knocking on all of your doors that's my intention and I'll have my assistant with you she's my niece please don't run away and hide <laughs> we just want to we just want to chat with you thank you you're welcome to leave some of your uh, stuff in the hallway on the table too oh that's very kind Mr. Mayor sure, thank, thank you. you thank you thank you Anyone else wish to address the council? Because at this rate, we're not, you know, we're, we're, we're uh, creating payroll fraud up here because we haven't spent a lot of time at this meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else? All right. Madam Clerk, where are we? The Secretary's report for July, revenues $264,632.77. Uh, pay bills. Reports. And then we'll do the report. Um, the council paid the bills in July in the amount of five fifty one, five hundred fifty one thousand six hundred seventy eight dollars and thirty nine cents. All right. Reports, Chief. So I guess we have to accept the ice challenge. Accept the chief's ice challenge. Yes. Sir. Report for July. The number of calls to service were 587. We had 12 auto accidents. Number of citations issued were 75. Number of charges were 98. We had 11 patrol requests. And that is if you're going out of town, you call a station, uh, give us information, how long you'll be out of town, and we'll make a special request to go by your, your residence or your business during the time that you're out. There was 33 arrests made with 46 charges. There were two traffic arrests three felonies, 24 misdemeanors, and 17 city arrests. We had one residential burglary, one non-residential burglary, three larceny thefts, and eight assaults for the month. Thank you. Uh, Councilman Landry? Uh, no report, thank you. Councilman Shanley? No report. What are you? Yes, I would like to announce that um, I will be running for re-election for my seat and I will stand on my platform as I, I have always stood on it and has always been the same. I will do everything I can to promote commercial taxes and commercial development in the city in order to keep taxes off of our citizens. And if anybody would like to discuss it or any, any topic they want to discuss with me, they can call me at 504-343-7762. It's 504-343-7762. That's myself. If I don't answer, please leave me a message and I will call you back. Thank you. Councilman Hewitt. 
Uh, oh, oh, we're saving her for last? Well, next, yes. <laughs> yeah, Catherine Hewitt. You passing her up? No, she's next. <laughs> I, wanted to, I wanted to tell Chief Walker that I accept your ice bucket challenge, and I would also like to give a donation to ALS. So thank you. Mayor, I want to see you out there. I'm sorry? I want to see you out there. Is it Saturday? We'll see. Saturday morning, 9 a.m.? Well, now i got to go with Paul Johnson to do the same thing. <laughs> Why do you keep trying to pull Paul in? What? we, uh, we got to do it at the senior center. And you I did it already? No. <laughs> so you made the donation? Well, my, my, I propose, I'm optimistic that I could do it with, with, with Councilman Johnson and, and stand so close to him that I'm not going to get wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll get a drop. You'll get a drop. Council uh, Murray. I would also, I'm sorry, I would also like to uh, let the citizens know that I qualified as well for the race in November for re-election for my seat for Councilwoman. Um, I have enjoyed the last four years thoroughly um, supporting the citizens of Harahan. And um, I look forward to knocking all the doors again. Um, I did it. Uh, the last term, and I successfully almost knocked every single door in the city and, and hand wrote thank you notes for the people who took the time to speak with me. So um, I look forward to it, and I want to listen to your concerns, and um, I'm here to support <coughs> you and listen. Um, so um, I would appreciate your support, and uh, thank you. Councilman Murray. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, sure is and isn't. Um, thank you very much. Uh, Mayor, and um, I promise you I'm standing between both of y'all. I will accept your challenge. Uh, I will not be there on, um, on Saturday because uh, my oldest grandson is having his third birthday party, <coughs> so I'm all excited. And so, and so I, uh, and I will be at that. I thank you for that. Um, <coughs> just a couple of things. Um, congratulations to all of those so far who have uh, put their names up and are willing to um, run for election. Uh, it's definitely uh, an experience that we all up here have enjoyed. I'm sure there are times that we've gone, what am I doing? Am I crazy? Have I lost my mind? But then we have folks like you guys who, who come to us and ask us and help us and help us to help you. And that's what it's all about is that we're up here to support you and do the best that we can for you. And, and we try to be stewards of of our city as best we can. Um, I am termed out. This is my last year. Um, I, I had uh, thoughts of running for mayor. I will not be running for mayor um, uh, at this time in my life, but I may come back in four years. You never know uh, what I plan <coughs> to do. So I'm always leaving that option open. So um, just, just to let y'all know, I still plan on being very involved in this city uh, with, the, with um, uh, the help of others. We, we plan on continuing on to try to do our best for this city and uh, if anybody has any questions just because I'm quote unquote a lame duck doesn't mean I haven't stopped as y'all can tell so um, uh, just call me if there's anything we can do for you please um, let me know if you got a problem if there's something that's concerning also mayor um, I sent the mayor and the council a letter um, an email this week um, concerning our um, our budget and Although it has not been approved from the parish, um, our, actually, excuse me, rephrase that, our audit from 2013, it is now September, and I think of my eight years, this is probably the longest I've ever seen where we have not had our budget uh, approved by the state legislative auditor. Um, we are in a deficit, as we were last year and the year before last. Um, so the, the $13,000 that we are going to generate from this very, very small roll forward is merely a drop in a bucket of the million point, almost four million, a million point four um, that is, that's from last year's budget will be a deficit in the carryover for this year. Uh, but anyway, it, it's, it's very disheartening as prices have gone up, our services have, uh, have not increased, our service fees have not increased, and, and we still have an old infrastructure, unfortunately. And, and that's one of the things we need to fight to find creative ways to try to raise 
um, monies, dollars, whatever it is from whatever sources we possibly can and to try to keep it off of the citizens and keep from having to raise the taxes and so forth. It, it is, it's very disheartening to have to do that, but unfortunately, you know, it's our services, it's our city, and I think this uh, 13000 is going to be, what, maybe $3 a year on the, we, we, she did the math, and it's about $3 and something cents a year on, on a household. I know that's technically not a lot, but for some people it is, so, you know, depending upon their um, financial circumstances. So please understand that, that we do the best we can with what we have. Um, this council up here has always insisted on a, um, a balanced budget, which is part of our requisite, and um, unfortunately, Merritt was overspent. You know, there's, there's some extenuating circumstances to that, uh, that we've had some infrastructure problems, some serious ones. Uh, we've talked about that, sewage and so forth. So um, with all that in mind, we just need to be mindful that, number one, you can help by... Uh, Recycling, that helps, that helps a lot. Recycling helps on our dumpster fees. Um, uh, keeping out, keeping uh, things like the stuff out of the, the ditch because when the things get finally to our, our sewer plant and ditch, we, you know, you got a diaper or something that goes down the toilet, that costs three to $5,000 to get it out of, our, out of our sewer plant. You know, these are the kind of things that, they sound like a little bit, but there are a lot when they keep adding up throughout the year. So just be mindful of, of this, the wastefulness that we have here and that we do our best to try to make sure that we um, are all mindful of that. And thank you all very much. Y'all have a nice evening. Uh, one, one diaper in the sewer system costs us between one and three thousand dollars to fix. One and three. I thought it was three and five. Could be. Well, because I know they were. <laughs> okay. But uh, also, I would ask uh, Councilman Murray. Um, you know, next year uh, Jefferson Parish is going to be in flux, and there might be some openings there um, on the council, not with incumbents, but with the uh, new new seats opening up. And you would serve us either. well. <laughs> you would serve us well on, the, on that council. I think we got a good person that is serving. Oh, you listen. No, no, to I don't this. mean that. I'm saying. <laughs> you listening to this? There's going to be openings, new openings. Openings, oh, okay. Yeah, brand All new. Right. Oh. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Um, but keep that in mind. Yeah. You would serve us well. Uh, and what you said, you know, annexation's always <laughs> been uh, a, a way to try and create some new revenue and. We need to explore that again. We've, I don't think we've exhausted everything with the annexation, but we'll see. Um, the, um, the two, st I call them passages. Um, there's two streets, and one is Elton Johnston, and the other is Lori Sophia. Now, these came about because the Corps of Engineers and the Department of uh, Transportation met with me, the mayor, and said, because of the Pump to the River project, they were going to have to reroute Harahan citizens throughout some sort of circular uh, avenue through Elmwood about a mile and three quarters out of our way. And we resisted that, and we said, look, we don't think it's fair to go a mile and three quarters out of our way to go one block. So we decided to put in those two passages. One was Elton John Stun, and someone asked me, well, why did you call it that? Well, it's not a street, and it's gonna disappear once they move Hickory through and Dickory through, but it was named for Elton John, Paul John Stun, and John Young. And then the second passageway was Lori Sophia, and that was named for uh, one of our city photographers, Lori Foray, and the daughter of one of our, of our city attorney, Sophia Corsell. Be that as it may, it's not streets, they're passageways. But they, you'll be surprised, I mean, you all know if you drive it, how much traffic goes down those streets in, in helpful, in helping the citizens of not only Harahan, but River Ridge. Now the parish helped us out. We thank Councilman Paul Johnson for <laughs> contributing to the asphalting of that, as well as uh, we got um, 
uh, some volunteers, uh, Anthony Sequeira, Rob Chong, uh, to help us do this. Now, we are going to have to move these passageways as the projects get closer to them. We're going to have to reroute again, but we're going to do it so that our citizens uh, can have um, the least uh, amount of turmoil in getting back to and from Harry and River Ridge. Now, also, what happened was the pump to the river project, they're going down Hickory, and after they spent, I don't know how much money with engineers and surveyors, they reach a point where there's an obstruction that they didn't know about. And so they came to the city and they said, look, um, we're going to have to temporarily cut off your sewer system for the whole city for about eight hours. And we said, no, we can't do that. I mean, you have people want to flush their toilets. You know, we can't. So we got them to reroute temporarily. Uh, and we got trucks to come in in the event we had to haul out sewer to another plant. So it didn't disrupt the citizens at all. We were blessed uh, to have it work out where they were able to fix this uh, temporary uh, sewer. They call it an elbow pipe. And um, how much longer it's going to last on Hickory, I, I don't know. I'm told maybe two more months or three. But that's not going to relieve too much because we have River Road that's all tied up with the Pump to the River project. And then soon we're going to have Dickery that's going to be tied up with the River project. And I ask the citizens to please be patient because in the long run it's really going to help. We really believe it's going to help the city. We apologize for the inconvenience, but uh, we're optimistic that you know once all is said and done, we'll have benefited our citizens. Uh, Mr. Boudreau mentioned about the safest, one of the safest cities in Louisiana, he, and that's accurate. We were ranked number six out of the state, and people say, why is that? And I tell them, because the people in Harahan don't commit crime. Our citizens don't commit crime. Now, there might be some uh, misdemeanor things or domestic abuse things or small thefts, but our citizens were so blessed, don't commit murder, rape, armed robbery, burglary. And then the police department, you know, we have uh, what people so might say, a hometown police department. I don't think so. I think we have an aggressive police department that tries to keep crime out of our city. And, uh, you know, we, we're thankful we have the officers because they don't get paid a lot or enough. They don't get paid enough. Hopefully we're going to work on that next year and get them some more money. But uh, the day-to-day, -day, they put up day-to-day -day with probably a variety of uh, obnoxious people. And overall, uh, they handle it well. I mean, I get rarely get a complaint about police overreaching or abuse once in a while. Mostly, I get a policeman call me up and say, can you help somebody because, um, you know, this, 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 and that. Can we let them sign themselves out on a bond? And I'm saying, sure, whatever you feel comfortable with. You know, sometimes you get someone who uh, is sick or is taking a certain medication, and, you know, they just want a relative to pick him up and take him home because he's drunk. And we do that. We accommodate them. And we rely upon our police's judgment to make that determination. So overall, we're, we're very blessed in living in the city of Harahan. Uh, I've been blessed to be involved in government. And, and, and uh, I thank all the council people who are here because they chose to run and be involved. And I'm optimistic the new people that are running and being involved will be just as energetic and uh, sacrifice uh, what needs to be done to keep our city uh, going and ensuring that um, uh, we have a great quality of life. Madam Clerk, what else we got? Adjourned. Motion. Motion. Motion by Landry, second by Chandler.
Did you hear it? All in favor? Yay. Any opposed? Five days, no days.